Hello everyone, Forum Hut here. Today I will be showing you how to create a free form from scratch for 100% free. That means no money needed to make it whatsoever. I will explain how you create a form up on the World Wide Web within minutes. Many people turn to free websites and form hosters in need of a free form, but at what cost is this truly free? You are limited and most of the time are charged with having advertisements on your site that are both unwanted and make you no money whatsoever. Making a form, believe it or not, is very, very easy, but most people do not know the ways or knowledge of how to make their own form completely theirs using all the main products many paid form owners have to pay for completely free. Now starting out, you may not know anything about form hosting. Many viewing this video might even have form hosters such as Form Promotion and Zeta Boards or a vast amount of other free form hosters. Now this is completely different from this and just simply follow the video and you should be fine and you will have your site up within minutes. Before starting, you should have the following items which is going to require you to have my BB and FileZilla. Now if you don't know where these are, the links to them will be in the description below and I will show you how to download them right now. To start things off, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install my BB as it's very simple and very fast to install. All you have to do is open up your internet and then go to mybb.com. Very easy and then right there you should instantly see the download now. Simply click that and then click the download now again and your file and download should commence. It shouldn't take you no longer than I would say about 5 seconds. Go ahead and open that as you would need it later. Note this is a zip file so WinRAR might be required or it could help out in the future. Go ahead and um, minimize this as you don't need it as right now. Next I'm going to show you a bit more complicated thing to download. It's called FileZilla. This is the FTP client you need to get the files from your desktop to the internet aka also your hosting service I will show you how to download and get in a second. So to start things off open up your internet the next thing you need on your list is FileZilla, which is the FTP client which you need to get the files from your desktop to the internet using a hosting service I will show you in a second. First thing you need to do is open up the internet of course and then go to FileZilla-project.org. Now this is kind of complicated, all you have to do is follow me, click the uh, FileZilla client, do not click the server, and then find whichever platform you have. I have the Windows seven so I'm gonna go ahead and click that it should automatically start up your file I do not need this so I'm going to go ahead and exit out as I already have it it'll open it up you pretty much just install it it's that easy now that you have those two they're pretty much not worth anything without a hosting service so let's go ahead and open up a hosting service this one is the one of the best free hosting service it's called 00webhost.com so once again open up your internet and go to 000webhost.com here you want to click the sign up button and simply fill out your information for this I'm going to have to go I'm going to say form hut test and you want to keep it at the registered domain don't worry I will teach you how to get a free domain it's going to be .tk but still it's all going to be fine and dandy then you enter your name and a password and just like every other site you need to enter your image code and simply click agree and continue to your account now I already did this if you can't tell so I'm just going to simply go to my members area and log in this way and then show you the same thing. What you want to do is once you get the site up, it's going to say building, simply refresh it within the next like 10 seconds and it should say active. You then want to go to your site's C panel or control panel. Once you're in your control panel, you want to scroll down under files and find the view FTP details. Here it should give you all your FTP content what you want to do is click change account password and change it to something simple with both text and numbers something that you will for sure remember once you're done you need to open up your view FTP details 
as we're going into the FileZilla client now. Okay, now what you want to do is open up your FileZilla and then simply enter the details below. For me, it would be my domain.comzy.com for the host, my username, which is A5417939, and then my password. And then you want to click connect. You don't need to worry about the port. There you go, you're now into your FileZilla account, and this is all the content that will be shown on your website right now. What you want to do is open up your public HTML folder, and now go back to your MyBB file, and then you want to click on Upload, and then just simply highlight everything and drag it into your FTP client. Make sure you do it into this little box down here. And then you simply need to wait for it to load. I will skip to once it's done and explain further. Okay, now that that's all done, you can go ahead and exit out of your MyBB documents and minimize your FileZilla. Now what you want to do is you want to pretty much click on your domain and it'll open it up. If you see this error, do not worry. This is what is actually supposed to happen. It's pretty much stating that your MyBB is not currently installed or configured. Now here's where the actual installation comes in. What you want to do is after your site, you want to type in slash install slash I-N-S-T-A-L-L slash. Click enter. This will bring you to your installation guide. Depending on what you want, you can either send anonymous statistics from your server to the MyBB group. Depending on if you want it or not, I always do it because it always helps them improve and for a free software, I mean, what better thing can you do but to help them? Simply click next and this will bring you up to your license agreement. I recommend reading everything on here. I'm not going to go over it because of course it's too long and I've already read it myself. Simply scroll down and click next once you're done. Click next on the requirement checked as it should all be all green and OK. And then here's your database configuration. This is where it gets a little bit confusing, so follow me exactly. The first thing you want to do is change the MySQL improved to MySQL. Then you want to open up your web host using 00 web host and go back to the home page. If you're still on the FTP page, click go in the top right. Now you want to scroll down until you see the MySQL under software and services. Click it, it should have a picture of a little dolphin. For this, let's make things simple. And for your database name and username, go ahead and just name them RGSTR for register. And then for the password, enter whatever password you want. Note it should have both numbers and letters. Click create database once you're done. You will not need this password for later, so you don't have to actually save for the site. Okay, do not exit out of this. You're going to need this. Go ahead and copy the MySQL host and replace it with the local host on your database configuration page. And then simply copy and paste everything else, such as your username. Your username and your database name are the exact same if you named it exactly how I said. And then you enter your password, which you picked. And then you leave your table prefix and encoding alone and simply click next. That part was a little confusing. If you messed up at all, simply retry it on the third time. If not, then uh, message me directly and I will have a solution, hopefully within the hour or depend on if I'm on or not. Now once you click next it should bring you to the table creation. All you have to do is simply scroll all the way down and click next. Click next on this as well the table population. Click next on the themes and now you should be at the board configuration. All you have to do is change the form name to what you want. For this it's going to be KV test and URL you should leave the same the website name do the same thing test and then copy the URL into the website URL as well leave everything else the same unless you have a email you wish to change it to and then click next 
This is the Create Administrator account. This is all yours, so name it what you want. I'm gonna name my username Form Hut. Password. And then. My email address, formhut at coinvintio.com. Click next once you're done. And there you go, it's been completely installed. You have fully finished installing your site. Now you can erase the install or simply go back to the domain of your site and it should look something like this. There you go, you have successfully installed your 100% free site. For further installations, add-ons, themes, and how to use the admin CP for MyBB, I will be showing you videos in the future, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or if you want to advertise your site, go to coinvintio.com. All links you have seen in this page, including the verbal text to everything I said, will be in the description below, so pretty much scan through all that, and you should be good. Thank you for viewing my video, and I will see you on my next video.